and mine around. So, you know, go crazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and shoot at the screen as much as you want to. Okay? The weapon is not gonna is not gonna run out of rounds. Everybody understand that? At the end of each scenario though, we will be uh, locking and clearing the weapons. To lock and clear the weapon, at the end of the scenario, first you're gonna go to safe, move the, sem the uh, selector switch back to safe so it won't fire. You're then gonna lock your bolt to the rear, pulling the charging handle back, and pressing the bottom of the, the bolt catch, and then pushing this back forward. And that will actually lock your bolt to the rear of the weapon. We actually need to lock the bolt to the rear right now. So go ahead and pull the charging handle back, press in the bolt release catch, and then press that forward. So you went, you went on to safe, you locked your bolt to the rear, and the last step to clear a weapon is you're going to drop the magazine. Please don't actually drop the magazines on the ground because they can mess the magazines up. They're uh, electronic. So when you, when you remove the magazine, you're going to press the magazine release button, which is on the right side of the weapon, and just set the magazine on the floor. We will have we will have uh, facilitators going around and helping at each position. If you have any questions, yeah, you gotta be see the real the real weapon. Once you press that magazine release, the magazine is not gonna come off like that. That is again, is a uh, magazine. Is, uh, is a uh, weapon that hooked up to a computer. You press that uh, that release, the magazine is gonna it's gonna fail. What you do is when you hit the ground, you can uh, we can get it on camera. And then once you put it back in the weapon, you may not So that's why we that's why we tell you. Okay, so that, that was covering loading and unloading the weapon. During the scenarios, please take all commands from Staff Sergeant Portis, our tower NCO. She'll tell you when to load, when to uh, lock and clear your weapons. Next we're gonna go over real quickly the uh, basic, the four basic fundamentals of marksmanship. The first one is going to be a steady position. We're gonna fire from two positions. We're going to fire from the prone supported position and the kneeling position. Steel to our sandbags. Okay, an example of the prone supported position is going to use the sandbags to rest your weapon on to get a stable position. You're going to lay with your body more or less in line with the weapon, your legs spread where they're comfortable, toes pointed out to get a good stable position. You're going to want to have the buttstock of your weapon pulled in tight on your shoulder. And this is where adjusting that stock is going to come into play. Because you want to be able to rest your nose right on the tip of the charging handle. The tip of your nose is going to rest on the charging handle. When we're actually setting up on the prone supported, you have to ensure that your magazine isn't resting on the ground. If it's resting on the ground, it will cause the weapons to jam periodically. So your magazine has to be um, free from the ground right on the sandbags. You can either Rest the weapon on your hand on the sandbag to get a nice stable position, or rest, rest the weapon on the sandbag with your hand over the top of it. The next is aiming. For aiming, you're going to look through the small hole, the aperture in the back, and line it up with the, the front sight post. And that's called your sight picture. Looking through that hole and lining up the front sight post in the center of that hole, you're going to want to give you a good sight picture and place the tip of that front sight post on the target that you want to shoot at. The last two fundamentals of breathe, or are breathing and trigger squeeze. When we talk about breathing, it just means you're going to want to fire either at the, uh, the bottom of your breath or the top. So when you exhale, you wait, for, uh, hold it for a few seconds to fire, or at the top, as you inhale, hold it and then fire. And then that allows you to uh, maintain the round so it doesn't go up and down as you fire. Uh, the last is trigger squeeze. And when you, when you squeeze the trigger, you want to do a nice smooth pull. You don't want to jerk it. If you jerk the uh, trigger, you'll send your round left or right. So to control that, you do a nice, smooth trigger squeeze until the round fires. 